What's up everybody, Noah Kaser back here for another video. I got yelled at today at school for not reviewing these two movies. So first I'm reviewing Scream 2, then I'm going to be reviewing Scream 3. And they will both be up tonight, and I'm watching another movie tonight. You'll find out what that is in Scream 3 review. But Scream 2. Scream 2. It's basically... Nev Campbell's character is in college, and and her friend Randy is in college, and the killings start happening again during, uh, the first killing starts at a, uh, movie theater when they're showing Stab, which is a, a movie based on the Woodsboro killings. And especially them, along with Dewey and... What the hell's her name? With Dewey and... Gail Weathers. And Gail Weathers. Trying to solve the uh, mystery of who the killer is this time. This was really a good movie to me. I mean, it's not as good as the first one, obviously. But it's still pretty good. Um, a few jump scares here and there that didn't get me. But... Um, good acting. I love Gail Weathers in these, uh, movies. I just love Gail Weathers. And I love Dewey. Dewey is just amazing. Th those two characters are just fantastic. But, I think I can just go on to Scream 3. But Scream 2, I give Scream 2 a B. Watch it now. Scream 3. Scream 3 has the same cast except for Randy. And I'm not going to tell you what happened to him. Um, but Scream 3, during the making of Stab 3, they are experiencing the killings again. And um, Nev Campbell's character is in is in hiding. And the killer finds her. And now they're trying to find out who the killer is. And, and Nev Campbell's character thinks that she is seeing her... Her mom and hearing, well, well, she is hearing her mom, but is she seeing her mom? We don't know. But this was a really good sequel. These are two good sequels to me. I really enjoyed them. Um, but Scream 3, what else can I say besides it was good? It kept me enthralled. Uh, it keeps you guessing. I'm just going to say this. It keeps you guessing who the killers are, and you want to know who the freaking killers are. But um, I give Scream 3... A B minus. This is definitely the weakest so far, but I enjoyed it. Um, and that's it for the Scream 1, 2, and 3 series. I did watch the Still Screaming and Scream the Inside Story. Scream the Inside Story is basically a documentary about the first Scream, and then Still Screaming is another documentary about the Scream series. Scream, the Inside Story, is a better documentary, but I really enjoyed them both. Um, they're both 90 minutes, so there you go, three hours of documentaries. But the movie I'm watching tonight is called Jennifer's Body. <sighs> wow. I'm looking forward to it. Jennifer's Body with Megan Fox Ugh. and Amanda, uh, uh, Amanda? Amanda Seyfried. I'm just looking forward to this movie. It's rated R. I mean, it's a horror movie. I I um think, <laughs> but it's kind of a short one. One hour and forty two minutes. But uh, if you guys liked this video, please give you please give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, well, I'm sorry you clicked on a stupid thing. But if you did, please like the video, leave a little comment down low down below, and subscribe for more. And I'll see you guys next time and this weekend for my Scream 4 movie review and Jeffers Body movie review. And I will see you guys next time. Sarah Megan Fox. Stare. Stare!